the CEO of UAR now. Ray is here, Ray DiCarlo, all the way from Portland, Oregon. So please give a warm San Francisco welcome to Ray. So Ray, um, you're here from Portland, yeah. and tell us about the business that you're in Portland, and what led you and they are. Um, I was in an animation business, I own an animation company, and we were looking for, I was looking for something really that was interesting. And I had looked at AR, but it was market based, it was 12 frames a second, the renders were really bad. And I had no interest at all. I had done a lot of research, and then one day I was driving along, and I thought, wait a minute, I think I know how we could put a message on every street corner of every city in the country at the same time. And I thought, I don't know if we can do that, but if we can, that's kind of cool. And that's kind of how we got started. How long ago was that? Almost four years ago when we started thinking about it. Um, we, since then, developed a persistent um, augmented reality platform that allows people to uh, discover, create, and share augmented reality. Um, and it will, it, it lets developers actually, we were talking about it, the apps that you see here, they could be on our platform. <coughs> and then we would take care of all of the, you know, making sure that when you go back, um, your air is just there, we can deploy it. Uh, one of the things that that idea of putting it everywhere on every street corner, meant you had to do it remotely. So oh, our first patent is about off-site and on-site AR, so that you can literally take a map, uh, find a place, or have a scan of an AR cloud and deploy your AR there so that people can see it. And that led us to experiences where, well, it's great to have an AR there, but I want to do it with other people. So, you know, I think we came out with multiplayer uh, demos almost three years ago. So that's kind of how we ended up going in our direction. Awesome. Shall we show the audience something at this point so they can get their hands around yeah. what you guys did? So we roll the video? Yeah, this we made on Saturday. We shot this, and it's going to be a little crazy because we have four people doing this all the way. AR is the first augmented reality operating system designed to discover, create, and share AR experiences. The following technical demonstration shows the UAR system in action. Watch multiple players interact in a shared environment while adding applications to the experience on the fly. So one of the things you're going to see here is that they're actually dropping in content and it's populating on the uh, overhead map. Um, you can do it the other way too, where you drop it on a map into a room. Um, and one of the big things that, that we're doing is we're using multiple applications that can be developed by multiple developers in the same environment. Uh, our belief is that the next internet will be the internet around us. We call it the internet of places. And to do that, you're going to need, need to be able to share your applications just like you do now. Think of it almost as a browser. So um, an application that's sort of an operating system is what we want. Fantastic. Do you want to talk about you know, what's going on in the left window versus the If you look up here, you, you can actually hear them talking about what they're putting up. But if you look, everybody's seeing the same thing from their point of view. Everybody's interacting at the same time. Uh, so one application is putting words up. So that's good. another application is dropping these little boxes on the floor that you'll see come up. And then a completely different application is this uh, ball shooter that will start shooting everything down. There's a penguin on the screen as well. Yeah. So the penguin is just an object. You can drop it in. You can drop objects anywhere on, on the edit level, and uh, it's. Uh, can be placed anywhere, and this this is all there when you go back to find it. So that's the cool part about it. So you'll see right now they're going to start shooting everything down, and you can see that we're syncing all this real time off the of Amazon server. So are you, okay, now you have one player who's destroying another player's AR content. Everybody's AR content. Each of those boxes, the different colors are being put by different players at the same time. So they're interacting. A green one is one of the players, or pink one is another player, or blue one's another player. And like I accidentally put some blocks on the wall like Chris, and I say, Chris, I had to put some blocks there. So how do you make decisions about who has the rights to make content be persistent versus somebody else destroy it? That's a really good question. Um, so what happens is that you can either have an open system where you don't, or you can have a system where you have a group of friends, uh, where you have somebody who owns that particular um, moment in time that you're playing together, and they kind of have the last word. So it, it's really a, an open system. And that's kind of up to the developers to decide 
how that is, is handled. And one of the things that we're also doing there is that if if, um, if you make an app and um, she makes an app and somebody else makes an app, uh, if you give the right permissions, I can throw a ball from one app and hit stuff in another app and knock it down. So we're sharing logic as well. Great. I think we have time for one audience question. Does anybody have a question for UAR? Anybody in the audience? Oh, in the back. Can you run a mic back there, please, Paul? So I'm a developer of an AR app. What's the pricing model for you uh, using the system? Um, for us, the, the pricing model is going to be more like the, the electric company. You know, we're just going to take a very small amount, nothing at first, and two years <coughs> over. A, a little bit like Unity in, the, in an odd way, if that makes any sense. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of where we're going. And part of our end goal is not just to make um, apps uh, a system that app developers can use easily and deploy their app their applications and their content around the world, but also to allow users to then take that, remix it up, and repost it in places. So you can have an experience that happened you know, a year ago, and then one that happened today, and you can have them both there in time. So the idea is that you can remix and, remix and repost your, your experiences. So uh, we're going to put you on the spot here a little bit, uh, but uh, are you uh, are you willing to give live demos after the show? Oh, yeah, we're going to the stage is a little small for us to do our demo, so we we can do one back there. Anybody wants to come and look at what we're doing and see how it works, we're more than happy to show that to you. All right, well, fantastic! Thanks so much for being on the app show, right? Thank you. Thank you.